I hate, I hate when he makes me cry now because these tears feel different. Each tear feels like chipped away pieces of my discarded heart. And as they slide down my face, these tears remind me of rape prints dug in a fresh concreted pavement. The heavy, tone-deaf diamonds that still shine, glistening with gut-wrenching pain, like the pain of helpful hands closing in to invade, no embrace, your space, but you know, as soon as they lay a hand upon you, you're gonna fold over into their arms, breaking down and bursting into a well, a cry that you'd like to keep to yourself. And well, I'd like to keep my tears to myself. I don't like being touched when I'm on the verge of tears. Well, not anymore. Crazy, huh? I usually cry often, but normally in the comfort of my own home. I think of it as wash days for my soul. Fun fact, there are three different types of tears. Reflex, basil, and emotional, they all serve a purpose. Google it, I ain't here to give y'all a science lesson. But well, most of my streams are emotionally driven. And it's not always the heartbreaking pains that well in my optics. I'm a cancer. And although I'm not too deep into astrology, one thing I know about me is I'm emotional. Or at least the spirit that lives within me is, thank you. And sometimes I cry. I cry when my son had his first breakup because the wave of pain in his eyes, it hit me tsunami-like. Nothing I've ever seen before, so I closed my bedroom door, I dropped down to my knees, y'all, and I cried. I cried when no one else could see. I cry when I get Facebook memories of my granny. I cry when I'm talking to God and I'm offering up all my worries, but I'm still holding on to those strings. I cry when I watch Grey's Anatomy. And the pain, I cry, is major, but silent. When Major Benson, Winifred Payne, leave Hillary and those kids behind. But I laugh, and I let the tears sail down my face as I recite every line that they say. Like, killing is my business, ladies. And business is good. Or, I'm sorry, Mr. Handicapped Man, I didn't mean to offend you. You speak sign language, you read lips, yeah, major pain, that be my shit. And sometimes I cry when, mm, that ain't none of y'all business. I even cry when I skate. And I let the tears cascade down my face because a part of me is home. And sometimes my tears are beyond my control, so I close the curtain and I allow them to roll freely. But when my husband, Scott Free, makes me cry, I turn into a two-year-old toddler inside because, nigga, why the fuck is you making me cry? Because these tears are boulders now. And, well, uneven tones send tears wheeling down my surface now. And I know that I'm sensitive, especially when he's only dishing what I've served him. So at times when my tears are warranted, I don't let these tears tear me apart. Benevolence dwells in my husband's eyes. And to watch him combat tears because he doesn't feel safe enough to cry, that's torture for me now. Because there should be no battle like that in this field. And so, well, I cry for him too. While I pick up the pieces of my discarded heart, I wait for my husband because he has the tools. And well, as we align them back together, filling in the gaps with love, I find treasure in my tears. And I love the fact that I have the ability to let these motherfuckers rip. Because I know there's some folks in this world who refuse or can't cry. And I would decay inside if I wasn't able to replenish my well. Because well, it is made up of my heart and all of the tears when I've welled. Well wishes. Thank y'all.